So guys, Tesla has done something very incredible here. They have finally gotten rid of the so-called Model Y standard range and given us something that we've always been waiting for. Now, if you can recall from a few years back, Tesla decided to remove the standard range moniker across the entire lineup. They essentially took away the feeling of owning something less than than the other trims. So simply put, it now starts out being called the Model 3 or the Model Y, whereas before it was called the standard range of these variants now you can pick up these models and then build up from that point on now of course something to keep in mind here is that even with the new name nothing has internally changed meaning that taking away the standard range doesn't necessarily give you any more range than what you had before but then jumping forward a few years we started hearing some rumors some indications that Tesla was going to be releasing a new model Y and that is exactly what happened now this model Y here was offered exclusively to the European regions. Being that it is built from Giga Berlin, you expect that all the best upgrades are going to be coming from this new factory. We began to see special colors specifically made for the European regions and these were going to be the very popular and very wanted Quicksilver and the Midnight Cherry. Now the reason why this is only offered within Europe is the multiple complexities within the paint colors. This is only achievable with the new paint shop that was built at Giga Berlin. Now it has been a very long time but we are finally getting one exclusive feature for the US build Model Ys. We'll be talking more about this later down in the video but this is going to be very exclusive to the Model Y and only the Model Y alone. So now outside of the very exclusive of paint colors that was only available to European owners. They also got one other benefit as well and that was the release of a new Model Y the long range rear wheel drive version of this car. Just earlier this year, Tesla's official Twitter page announced that they will be offering another variant of the Model Y alongside three other trims. This was the rear wheel drive long range version and now there is four options to pick within the design studio. You start off with the base model standard range and then you move up to the long range rear wheel drive and then we have the all wheel drive and then the performance. So four different options options here that you can select from but what makes this stand out so much is that the long range rear wheel drive version that has recently been announced this one is going to have the longest range ever. Now typically living in the north in harsher environments you would always recommend that you pick an all wheel drive long range version for all the reasons that you already know however there are times that this is not required or the long range version is just not enough. If you think about the best value for your money what what you're going to be putting in and what you're going to be getting out, I would always say that the rear wheel drive version of any car is going to be the best. But this is no longer the case. The rear wheel drive base model is no longer worth it now that Tesla is offering the long range. This is now not simply just the long range version. This is the king of long range. You are going to be getting 600 kilometers on an entire full charge, whereas even the long range all wheel drive doesn't get that far. Now, if you compare this to the base model which gets 455 kilometers on a charge you are seeing a difference of 150 kilometers and in real world testing with the climate control and with different weather temperatures you are going to be seeing a massive difference in terms of drivability. So all in all what this means is while factoring in pricing you are going to be seeing a difference of 3,000 euros and this is for an additional 150 kilometers this is going to be the best 3,000 euros you're ever going to spend. All right, so as jealous as we are in the US, we thought this was never going to come seeing the track record of all the recent releases. This past year alone, we have seen many variants of the Model Y, some with different types of batteries, some with exclusive paint colors, and others with different interior with ambient lighting. But one thing we know for sure and what we have gotten used to is that the US always gets everything last. Now, if you wanna know all the features that we are missing in our model wise within the US, definitely go check out my previous videos. I went over all the topics and all the reasons why you may want to wait for
for an upgraded version. I'll drop that link in the description below and up top there, but man, there is so many things that we are losing out on just because there is no real competition over here. All right, so besides all those comfort features and all those upgrades that I have mentioned, there has been some really good news that is happening in the US this past week, and this is the fact that Tesla has announced they will be launching a new version of the Model Y also the rear wheel drive. Quietly, without any official announcement, Tesla decided to update the design studio, completely replacing the standard range model and now in place a brand new long range rear wheel drive. No longer are we going to be seeing the term base model for the Model Y. We are going to be offered the exact same rear wheel drive long range version that we have seen in Europe. What makes this so special is that this will be the longest range Model Y that Tesla is offering. It will be even longer than the all-wheel drive version that Tesla has on their site right now and has been advertised being the best version of the car. Shortly after the design studio was updated, Elon went on Twitter to post and confirm the fact that this new Model Y is going to be coming with 320 miles of range. He further pointed out that even though this is the single motor variant, it will have excellent traction control in snow and ice and it will perform extremely well due to its precision engineered motors. Alright, so enough with all the information and details that you can see online for yourself. Let's talk about if these models are going to be worth it. Now, the difference here in my personal recommendation if this is worth it or not really depends on if you are living in Europe or if you are living in the US because the specs are the same but there are different variations to it. Tesla has decided to remove the base model entirely on the US configurator whereas for the European side they have decided to keep it. This makes it very hard to compare, especially when there is federal tax incentives across the entire lineup when it comes to the US. So unlike the Berlin made Model Ys for the European regions where it is quite obvious to pick the long range rear wheel drive, it may be the opposite for US potential buyers. First off, the rear wheel drive versus the all wheel drive is a $3,000 difference in the US and that also means that you are only gaining approximately 10 extra miles. Second thing here is if you pick the rear wheel drive long range versus the all wheel drive, you are also losing the dual motor, the acceleration from 6.5 seconds down to 4.4. Although this doesn't sound like much, it is a drastic difference when you consider it side by side and what you're paying extra, you are getting so much more. And the last thing here, and I think it's the most critical of them all, this is where you're going to be losing out on all the premium and special features for this top of the end trip you are going to be seeing missing things such as the option for seven seater, premium audio and the fog lights. These are the things that if you have experienced in prior cars that did have them, you are not going to enjoy it in the rear wheel drive long range version that's being offered. So when it comes down to it, if you are in the US and if you are in the market for a new Model Y, I would really sit down and consider your needs before jumping out and picking the longest range version. Realistically, for only a $3,000 difference, you are less incentivized to get the newly offered long range rear wheel drive version while you're missing out on a bunch of different items. To me personally, I would call this new offering a complete wash and if you are planning to pick one up, might as well jump for the all wheel drive. It is neither cheap enough or bring enough range to outweigh all the missing features and all the missing things that you're getting from the top end trims. So this is the reason why I think it's better to just fork out that $3,000 and get one that gives all the best of all worlds. So straight up answer here, if you live in the US, this is a hard pass, but if you live in Europe and you were thinking between the base rear wheel drive versus the new offering, there is no hesitation to get the long range. On an additional note here, Elon has just recently confirmed that Model Ys built in the past few months may qualify for a future unlock of the battery. This would be dependent on the type of battery chemistry that you have, either LFP or NMC. I would assume that these are going to be the nickel packs where Tesla has software limited them for the fact of the federal incentives, but now they are going through some regulatory approvals before unlocking the rest of the pack. 
Now what this is going to give you is an approximate 40 to 60 additional miles of range. This is a really good upgrade if you have decided to pick a cheaper version. Now you're able to upgrade yours to the long range and earn some additional points on your credit card. And just to wrap things up here, on a little side note, Tesla has started offering the Quicksilver option that we have been seeing in Europe. And this is only going to be available for now for the long range and the performance model. So if you are in the market and you really want that Quicksilver, there is no reason you pick any other trim. The long range all wheel drive and the performance version is the one you need to get. So yeah, even though all of this is quite surprising and it's quite shocking that I'd rather pick an older version rather than the newly offering. There are times where it makes a lot more sense to add in that extra cash and go for the top. But all in all, it's really great to see that Tesla is finally giving us options. And especially for those of you guys living in Europe, this is a fantastic deal and there is no reason you would want to get anything else but. So yeah, I will continue to keep you as updated on everything regarding the Model Y and what's coming up in the next couple of months. So definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. This should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.